Hi there! In this video I'm going to show you the fastest, easiest way to add text and image overlays to your photos or videos. And we're going to be using CameraBag here. Uh, CameraBag Pro will do it for videos and photos and CameraBag Photo um, for photos only. So, um, and this is great for like if you've got, you know, a slideshow you want to make or you're putting a post on Instagram or something. And this is great, especially for batch processing, if you've got a bunch of images um, or a bunch of videos that you want to put the same text or text in the same style, but different text for different files. Um, this is an excellent workflow for that. So we're going to go down, we're in the adjustments tab, we're going to go down to the utility section and just choose text overlay. So say I've got this, um, a set of photos from Greece. And if I hit uh, F on my keyboard, you can see this is my folder of different files and um, let's let's make a grease text for this so I just enter grease because I wanted to say grease because that's where I theoretically was and then I can choose the font find a nice font that I like and maybe um, maybe I want this to be aligned to the upper left of this so um, what this does is obviously it writes grease on there and uh, let's also put some shadow on this so that um, it will stand out a little bit more and I'll increase the shadow radius there. Um, but what this does is when I've got this as an adjustment here, I can go to different uh, files in that same, um, that same directory or wherever else um, and I'll just hit shift F to load these. You can see um, if I load other files, it will position that text nicely in the upper left hand corner. And even if it's a different orientation, so I've got this vertical one, uh, it'll still nicely position that. And I can also use the arrow keys on my keyboard and I'm just hitting right on my keyboard here. And you can see it will have that same text in the same relative location, um, nicely sized for that photo based on that photo's width and height and um, that's a very sort of handy little thing um, to be able to apply across multiple photos uh, and if I want you know maybe I want text and description so I can add another text overlay and this one we're using the Avenir Next font let's use that same font um, let's go to Avenir Next which one was it exactly? It was Avenir Next Ultralight. So, um, which, whoops, should be at the top of our list here, Avenir Next Ultralight. And then I can make it smaller and maybe let's align this one to the, um, the right bottom. So maybe that would be the text that we'd use like, you know, for that one. And I may want to change this per per photo that I do, but that would be like, by the crystal ocean sea, which makes no sense, but maybe that's what I wanted to write. Um, and what I can do is if I go to my next photo, I can then edit this and, you know, change the text on that. But point being, I can have multi lines of text positioned differently. And for each photo, regardless of the aspect ratio of the photo, it will um, apply those. And then um, if I want to batch process this, so I save out all my images with that, I can just come um, into file and I can batch process the folder and choose the folder and it will apply that text to each file in that folder. And again, also, if I hit Shift F, I can preview all the files in my current folder and see what this looks like with that text on each of those and if I click on any of them it will open that up and have that applied. So um, and like I said there are lots of um, different features of the text you can can edit. Size obviously, color, um, this advanced control when I change this it will change the control to its right and what that is controlling. So if I want my advanced control to be blend mode, then choosing this over here will change the blend mode of that text. Soft light does a nice thing where I like blends into the background basically. 
If I choose shadow strength, then what I'm adjusting here is the strength of the shadow. If I choose alignment, then what I'm adjusting here is the alignment of how that text is relative to this box. And I can move this box around, um, and so it's not just limited to, uh, to where it initially starts. So that is text. Um, another thing is you often want to have like a watermark in images like this. So I can choose, um, let's just choose uh, this camera bag watermark. And I can change its offset or its scale or its opacity and where it's anchored to. Um, often the lower right is a good one. But again, this, as I arrow through then my files, or if I load them in any manner, um, that will be positioned nicely in the bottom right hand corner. Um, and if you want more uh, precise positioning, so this, you know, you're just choosing basically a, a corner and an offset um, for where you want this watermark. If I want to position an image more um, precisely, I can choose composite image and then basically choose the same thing. You'll see it's giant because this is scaled to fill the whole thing and it's also using a different blend mode. Put that to standard. But then I can drag this around and put it anywhere on my image. But that works less well when I go between images. Uh, if they're a similar aspect ratio, it's fine. But like, you know, when I choose this vertical aspect ratio one, um, because it's using that more precise positioning, it also makes it uh, less um, less consistent from one image to the next of where I will place it. But uh, let me hit undo and go and see if I can get that watermark back. And then let's browse to this file. Um, another handy thing just to throw in um, is that often if you're preparing a bunch of images, like I said, for Instagram or something, you want them to be the exact same size. And even if the original, like I say, you look at these, they're all in different aspect ratios. But if I want to batch process or just have a, a preset that I save that will automatically set it to a certain size, I can choose this exact size adjustment. Say I want square images always for my posts. Um, then exact size, I can set it to be 1200 by 1200 or like 2000 by 2000. And it will then, you know, as I apply it to different images, automatically crop that. Um, but if I, if I want to get a very specific crop, I can go into the crop tool and adjust that. But um, like I said, I can save this as a preset and then automatically apply it. Just it'll be in my presets section and, um, you know, automatically have the text in the font and the position that I want it. Automatically have my watermark at the position and scale that I want it and automatically uh, resize the image to a very specific aspect ratio and dimensions. But um, we hope that you'll give camera bag a shot and uh, hope that you'll find as we have that this is absolutely the easiest way to add um, text and images to your photos and videos. And again, this is especially handy with camera bag pro on videos um, just to give this nice, these nice finishing touches. Thanks.